Hello viewers, welcome to another edition of Tech Tips. My name is Basir and this week we will be talking about tag mapping. Now what tag mapping is, is it's the tag that MWF gives each single one of these members for shop drawings. For example, it tells us that for individuals vertical studs, it is going to tag them with the letter C. Now C0, C1, C2, depending on how many different kinds we have. And for top, bottom, mostly horizontal members, it is going to tag them with the tag T. I've created the shop drawing for panel 12 over here. If we go ahead and look at it, you'll notice that they're all C0 since they're all identical. And the top and bottom track are tagged with T. Now we might have some standards in our company we might want our top track to be TT. So if you have multiple top tracks, we can go TT1, TT2, TT3. And our bottom track, we might want it BT, for example. Now there is a way to change this within MWF so our tags appear differently. What we'll need to do is simply go into the installation folder of MWF. I have it right over here. I have the path for you guys, so it's going to be in your C drive. Revit Tools 2015 or 2016, 14, whatever year you're using, and it commands the year you're using again, MWF and the config file. You're going to go all the way down to your tag mapping right down here. Now, we will need to go ahead and duplicate this tag. You never want to make changes to the default. I'm going to go ahead and paste it right over here. And in order to tell MWF to utilize our copied uh, text file and not our original. We're going to go ahead and rename it with tag mapping dot user with a capital U dot txt. Now what this is going to do is it's going to tell MWF to use this one as opposed to our default. Simply go ahead and open up the text file and we have what every single member is going to be tagged with. So you'll notice they're all going to be tagged with pretty much T and C you have a few A's, the plates will be tagged with A's, etc. So I'm going to go ahead and for my top track, I'm going to go ahead and change that to T and my bottom track, change that to BT. We're simply going to go ahead and close it, save the, the new text file that we went ahead and created and we have to obviously recreate the shop drawing. I'm going to go ahead and delete our shop drawings we also want to delete our drafting and detail views, delete all of those. And it's just a matter of recreating the shop drawing. So we go to drawing wall panel drawings. Now it is going that dot user text file that you created. If you have the labeling option set as so under my framing elevation, under labels, you have to have it set as by distribution it will know that it needs to use that original. If it's set by distribution, it's going to use the default if you don't have that dot user. But if you do, it's always going to use that the user, the one I just created. So once I'm ready, simply save it. And we're ready to go ahead and generate the panel. Give it a couple seconds here while it generates all my different views. And places them in the sheet. And we have our sheet created under Sheets. We open up that and you'll notice that I have TT0 and BT0. Now, obviously since I just have that one uh, top and bottom track, they're going to be named differently because I asked them to name differently. And it added a, a, a different uh, row to my bill of material. Thank you very much, guys. This has been Tech Tips. See you guys next week.